So, is buying a rare card worth it in the UK? I'm going to talk all about it in this video. So firstly, what is a rail card? A rail card is basically like a travel card, a digital travel card, and you can use it to avail insane discounts, um, like literally one third off of your fare. And no, this is not an Oyster card. An Oyster card is completely different from a rail card. But you can also link the rail card to your Oyster card if you live in London and you want like, again, incredible discounts on it. So you can purchase the rail card on apps like Trainline or even the website like railcard.co.uk. So there are a lot of options that you can take for your rail card as well. So firstly, there is network rail card, 16 to 17 saver, which gives you 50% off of the ticket. And it is only for the people between 16 to 17. Then 16 to 25 rail card, 26 to 30 rail card, family and friends, to two together, which is I think for a couple, senior rail card, disabled persons rail card and veterans rail card. So for a lot of rail cards, if you want a specific information on one of them, please go to the website and check it for yourself. Um, but I'm going to talk about the 16 to 25 one because I have purchased that one. Some of the rail cards do have like a one year only policy. So for example, the 26 to 30 rail card is for 30 pounds for one year. But on other rail cards like 16 to 25 one, they have an option where you can purchase the rail card for three years for 70 pounds. So instead of 90, you're paying 70. And I did get this one last year in April 2023 and I got it for three years straight, but I got it for 55 pounds because I was a student then um, last year and when I purchased, I had a code from uni days where I basically just availed that and I got literally 25 pounds off of that. So 55 pounds for three years. So now the question comes, is it worth it? Absolutely, yes. I've literally saved so much money with a rail card. I'm not even kidding because I travel to London quite often and each time it saves me a ton of money. So when I checked earlier the tickets from Derby to London King's Ross, the cheapest one was for 24.70 but with a rail card I got that ticket for 16.30. So you're literally saving eight pounds and this is just one way. So imagine if you buy a return ticket, it might be uh, even cheaper. So usually when I travel to London, it's around 30 to 34 pounds when I spend money um, with a return ticket. Plus another tip is that if you want to travel to a certain point in London, so basically if, imagine if it is not central London, uh, if you want to go to Bromley or Croydon or Surbiton, for example, because usually I go to Surbiton, so if you want to go, then directly book tickets, like enter the destination Surbiton and then use that ticket to travel directly to Surbiton. So usually the path is like you get off at King's Cross, then you go take an underground and while going, you don't need to tap another card. You just have to insert that ticket you have got and collect it and the doors will open. If it doesn't open, then do ask for help from any of the staff member that is present there because you know, you've already paid and uh, you, sh you shouldn't just like, with anxiety, you shouldn't just tap because you literally paid your journey till Surbiton. So they'll open with their card. So don't worry about that. And then you have to take a Southwestern Railway from Vauxhall. Um, so again, for that as well, insert the ticket, collect it. If it doesn't open, call for help. And then, you know, it's the same. Like it's, it's so you're literally saving a ton of money if you book till Surbiton. So make sure that you enter your exact like last destination. And on top of that, if you want to travel the entire day in London, so for example, if you're meeting some friends and you want to go to like some touristy spots in London and you have like a big day planned and you, you're you literally planning to like tap your car everywhere you go in the underground and everything, then instead of that, take a day pass. So usually a day pass is for 15.90 pounds for a day. And you can literally travel from zone one to zone six you can take a number of undergrounds on it, a number of buses on it, and it won't charge you extra because everything has like a cap. 
and yeah basically that and you can get a day pass um from any of the underground stations or any of the train stations basically they have like little booths usually the booths will have an option for a one day travel card so you can do that but if you have a rail card the ticket will cost you 10.40 pounds instead of 15.90 because of your rail card so i feel like it is so worth it because I usually like I said I usually stay in Surbiton and and to go from Surbiton to London Central it usually costs like 6 pounds one way so 12 pounds both ways um plus I'm going to spend more on underground and buses and whatever I take so it's like you basically it's just I'm saving so much money and the underground buses are basically like free for me so it's definitely worth it and I feel like if you are planning to take a rail card um you should definitely invest in one because it will save you a lot of money especially as an international student and you want to you know travel a lot not just in London but anywhere outside um I think it's definitely definitely worth it so that's it for this video guys i really hope that this video was helpful for you and if you like this video then please give this video a huge like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye